know more such amazing stories from Indian history, click the bell icon and subscribe to Live History India. Banaras is one of the oldest living cities of the world. Patna sowed the seeds of empire and remained a great capital for over 1,000 years. Ujjain, Delhi, Python. The list of historic cities in India is long. But you'd be surprised to know that only two cities in India have been recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Cities. Ahmedabad and Jaipur. The 600-year-old walled city of Ahmedabad was the first to get the UNESCO tag in 2017 for its exquisite monuments and the living traditions of its poles. So why is getting a World Heritage Tag important? And what did it take to get Ahmedabad on the global list? Architect and heritage expert Debushish Naik was closely involved with Ahmedabad's quest. Very interestingly, uh, Ford Foundation in 80s uh, wanted to look, to look at and review the heritage status of uh, three Indian cities, uh, Hyderabad, Jaipur and Ahmedabad. And uh, they had sent uh, officials from the city municipality to Rome, Ikram, uh, uh, to, to study and set up the whole system. And in that process, there are some uh, uh, awareness uh, about the heritage issues in those three cities. And fortunately in Ahmedabad, uh, uh, one architect was there who was involved, Mr. Majmudar, and he was sent to Rome uh, to study heritage and, uh, and they set up. So there was an awareness, but in 1996, uh, there was a very progressive municipal commissioner was there called Keshav Verma. He, uh, he, he threw Mr. Ghosh, P.K. Ghosh, who is right now is the chairman of the heritage committee. Uh, he told me that uh, Devashish, if you can come to Ahmedabad and do something with the heritage of Ahmedabad. So, so I came over and uh, spent some time and realized that the citizen really doesn't know the city. So the whole process started with that and it's a heritage walk which we thought would be a very important tool to make uh, first Ahmedabadis appreciate their own city. If you look at India as a country, uh, there are nearly 7,000 historic towns and cities in India. So almost every city is eligible to become a world heritage town or city. But uh, Ahmedabad is one of them. The interesting part is that it was on, uh, no one, very few people knew that Ahmedabad was the biggest city in India before British came. And it is actually living for last 600 years very actively. So that makes Ahmedabad very unique and if you look at the history, uh, it is one of the most highly documented city. Like all the mosque of Ahmedabad has really evolved from the Jain architecture and, and is a unique typology. Roping in the public was important because the walled city of Ahmedabad has more than 2,000 listed heritage buildings and many of them are in private hands. This meant that there also had to be a close coordination between the city's administration and the people. The process took uh, nearly 20 years of, uh, of journey and in the process uh, people of Ahmedabad really have gone through and uh, through the understanding this whole process through various initiative which is and because it was done through the municipal corporation so there is a lot of respect has been built uh, between the citizen and the political power and also the uh, city administration but uh, we still have a long way to go we have to have because the, the sheer number, uh, if you look at the all the other heritage cities in the world, there are maybe a, you know, one small neighborhood of maybe one uh, 30th part of the world city of Ahmedabad. But Ahmedabad's sheer sh size and number of building is so many that it is a big, big challenge. So I think the, the main problem will be and the challenge is that how you take everybody along and, uh, and manage, create a situation where these thousands of houses are managed and preserved. So it is a long uh, road ahead. Getting the UNESCO World Heritage Tag has been good for Ahmedabad on many counts. It has created livelihoods as tourists have increased and it has also ensured that the rich heritage of the city has been protected. Devashish, who is now advising other cities on their heritage policies, believes there are many lessons to be learned from Ahmedabad. See, logically, if you start work with an initiative with the NGO or a local 
local history groups, you can restore maybe 10, 15, 15 and 100 buildings. But if you only have to restore a whole city, it needs the policy change. And that's why the role of municipal corporation is extremely important uh, to participate in that. So when Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation called me uh, to help the municipality to set up a heritage department and, and create, a, create a heritage initiative or awareness program, uh, it was a it was a big positive thing. That was, the, I think, the the uh, the beginning of the success story happened. But other cities, similar things, if you want to do, if the process ha has to happen, it should happen through the municipal corporation or the local government. Only then uh, the policy could be changed. Only then the uh, the municipal administration should be part of the process. That's why uh, everywhere you work, we always initiated with the heritage walk because the uh, unless the citizen. Uh, the, all the people who govern the municipal corporation are the municipal councillors and municipal councillors are elected by the citizens. So if you want to bring in citizens participation, you have to bring in the municipal councillors uh, uh, and political support. So that is why the, the citizens knowledge about their own city is very, very fundamental and where the municipality plays a very, very important role. The secret of Ahmedabad's success was the close cooperation between people government and entrepreneurs who realize the value of protecting and developing the city's rich heritage. But as Devashish will tell you, this is a continuous process that needs active participation by all stakeholders. These are lessons that cities across India need to learn if we are to protect our heritage and ensure people, especially future generations, are closely connected with their legacy.